I think we've got a good angle. Hi, bestie. Welcome back to Cooking with Ease. Today, we are going to make one of my favorite, favorite pasta dishes. It's crazy because it's such a creamy, I love a creamy sauce, but I have learned the hard way I have to get my veggies in. <laughs> one time, like side story, I got so constipated in high school because I was only eating like bread for like a week that I on Christmas day had to go to the ER because I was like dizzy <laughs> seeing like spots in my vision couldn't stand up in like the worst pain of my life went to the ER they did EKGs on me they ran blood tests and then they had me go do a urine sample and I like destroyed their bathroom and I was like oh my god I feel better now anyway they were like they told me that constipation pain is some of the worst pain <laughs> Anyway, um, with that being said, my whole point, here's a happy medium. I introduce to you creamy spinach pasta. If you follow me on TikTok, you've probably seen me make this before. It's one of my favorite sauces. I found this recipe online like a year or two ago and then I tweaked it a bit, but it's just so genius. It's a creamy pasta sauce with a spinach base. And this is a massive container of spinach. I didn't know, I did an Instacart, I didn't know it was gonna be this big, but I like really think you can put as much spinach as you want in this, so I'm gonna try to use this whole container today. Um, and yeah, it's like one of my favorite pastas in the world. Obviously, I tweaked it by adding shallot, but Ducky looks like he's about to start being a monster. We just got back from the beach and he's been tired, but now he's looking like he wants to be a little crazy, so we need to cook fast so you don't have to listen to barking. <laughs> Barking in the background the whole time. Ducky. Ducky had a very good day at the beach today, and now he's being crazy. <laughs> Look at his little teeth. Show your teeth. <laughs> are those Ducky's teeth? Those are funny. First, we need to boil some water. I love using, I think it's called Kava Toppy is the shape, and that's what I ordered, but they were all out, so he brought me penne instead, but I've never had the Goodles pasta before. Wait, is this chickpea pasta? That's not gonna work for the pasta water. Oh my god, it's the best day ever. I couldn't use that pasta because I love chickpea pasta. Bonds is like my favorite, but for the pasta water, I feel like you need real pasta. I have kawatapi. I've mentioned to you. What, oh, I actually don't know what I was gonna say, as I'm sure I've mentioned to you what. Ew. This shallot is like milking. That can't be good. What the hell? I fear all my, okay, that shallot's definitely rotten. Um, I fear all of my shallots might be rotten, but okay, this one's definitely rotten. I have two shallots that may be okay. Otherwise, is it just cause it's hot that they're doing this? It doesn't, something about this doesn't look right or sit right with me. No, I don't feel right about this. I, I don't feel right about this at all. Okay, we're not, we're not doing shallot. Well, if you have shallots at home that are not secreting a strange liquid, number one, good for you. Um, number two, what I do is I just will saute them. Not like a full caramelize, I'll just like soften them and then I'll add garlic and spinach, but now we're just going to be doing the garlic and spinach. Brightland olive oil. This is a chili olive oil, so it's spicy. I'm gonna mince like two cloves of garlic. to reserve some pasta water before I forget because I often forget ow oh my gosh ow oh hot I'm not sure if it was recording or not but I added crushed red pepper and baby salt and now I'm going to add this entire thing of spinach we are adding spinach shrinks down like crazy I've got so much room in this big pot Oh my gosh, is this too much spinach? You know what? I'm not gonna do it all. Because I fear it will be a little too much spinach. Just for the amount of pasta I'm making. Drizzle with a little more olive oil. 
just so crazy to me that this is going to shrink. This is gonna shrink down to nothing. I'm gonna add some onion powder since I didn't have shallots. I still want that like onion flavor. To make this shrink down even faster, I'm just gonna cover it. Oh, not the right lid, but that'll work. Oh. Now that the spinach is cooked down, I'm like, I think I'm gonna add the whole container. Take it off heat, by the way. Pasta water. I'm gonna start with not all of it because I don't want it to be too thin. Now for the cream sniff test. I hate cream. It freaks me out. I mean, I love cream, but I hate smelling it. It never feels right to me. Like, it never smells right to me. But, like, cream, like it's not supposed to smell good. So, I think this is fine. I have always made this in a blender before. But I bought this, I'll link this below, I got this little immersion blender from Target. And it's just, it saves mess, it makes it easier. But if you have, if you don't have an immersion blender, a normal blender works great. That's what I've always used in the past. I eyeballed the cream, so I just kind of do whatever feels right. Legitimately, first of all, am I having a nip soap? No. I am legitimately sweating up a storm. It is too hot to be cooking in here right now. I'm getting in so much spinach with this. I think this is a really good, great hangover food because you're like getting in veggies, but it's also still like yum pasta. And it's pretty quick to make. Let's take our first bite together. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of nervous because I thought that maybe since I added so much spinach it like wasn't gonna be as good this time and then I was gonna have to like tell you I like messed up this week, but it's so good. Mm. Okay, bless you. I love you so much. I will see you next Sunday for another episode of Cooking With Ease. Thank you for being here. If you liked this video and you made it to the end, thank you for making it to the end. And if you don't mind giving the video a little like and a little comment, it does go a long way. <laughs> if you want. Anyway, I love you so much. See you next week.